Hey, I'm Sammy with Bar Under the Stairs, and today we're gonna make the pina colada the classic way in our new interpretive way. So the pina colada was made back when Coco Lopez first came out, and that was in the 40s. It was developed by two separate bartenders in Puerto Rico about the same time. So both of them claim to be the original. They're pretty much the same drink. One served over ice and one served over crushed ice. It later evolved to become a very popular blender drink, but overall it's a very staple vacationer drink and it's delicious. All right, so let's start building this drink. Starting with the original, Starting with the original, we're going to go ahead and do a half an ounce of lime. We're going to do an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, an ounce and a half of cream of coconut. And for our rum of choice, we're gonna do two ounces of Plantation Three Star Rum. Yeah, that's some pretty standard white rum there and it's delicious. Okay, let's add some ice. So I'm gonna take my Collins glass and go ahead and grab some crushed ice. To get crushed ice, you just need to go ahead and grab a Lewis bag. It's a canvas bag that you fill with cubes of ice, such as this. And then you fold it down to seal it. Grab your Lewis bag hammer and gun it. Fill your Collins glass with the crushed ice. Go ahead and strain your pina colada into your crushed ice. So I'm gonna to top it off with some aromatic bitters. It's delicious, I just wanted to add a little more nose since this has a lot of baking spices. It goes well with the coconut and the pineapple. So you get a good whiff of that. I'm gonna go in for a drink. To garnish, I'm gonna cut a pineapple wedge to just lay on the side. And one straw. Last but not least, we obviously need a little tiny umbrella. Here we go. The original pina colada. All right, now let's make a more improved and fruity version of our favorite pina colada drink. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tin, and this time I'm gonna add some blueberry ginger grenadine that we made here ourselves, and you can learn how to make that right now. Half an ounce of our special ginger blueberry grenadine. We're doing 0.5 of lime juice. Point seventy five of cream of coconut, and an ounce of pineapple juice. All 
We're gonna add one ounce of the same plantation rum that we did on our first pina colada. And then we're gonna also go ahead and add some Jamaican rum. We're gonna use Smith and & Cross and add one ounce. Add a little more funk to go along with all of our fruit that we're introducing to the drink. Last but not least, we're gonna do a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Just gonna help it all come together. Let's add our ice and give it a shake. Last but not least, you gotta have an umbrella. You gotta have an umbrella. Pina colada number two. All right, let's start off by tasting the original pina colada. Super creamy. The pineapple is delicious and smooth. I can't even taste the rum in this. It is just a dessert in a glass and it reminds me of being on a beach or a cruise ship or whatever people like to do when they drink pina coladas. I could drink probably like three of these. Now let's go to our improved fruity pink pina colada. That's delicious. The way the grenadine comes together with the Smith and Cross, that Jamaican rum spice with the ginger and the blueberry and the pomegranate grenadine, it doesn't get better than that. This is a little pink pina colada dream. Mm. Really get the spicy notes from the ginger. It actually goes super great with the pineapple. Pineapple and ginger are just the perfect flavors to go together in a pina colada. I'm Sammy with Bar Under the Stairs. Let us know how you make your pina coladas or if there's any other vacation drinks that really play a big part in your chilling time. And have a great day. Thank you.